Hey, this is the Ronnie and Bo Show. Hey, Ron, how are you? I'm good, Bo. How are you doing? Doing good. I'm having fun. Yep. We keep saying that every time, don't we? I know. It is. This is the most fun. And we really are genuinely today. having a great time. We are. We are. Now, I don't know if any of the listeners are. This is the West. Doubt it. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Give them more credit than that? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it is. This is still the... No, we're really having we a good time. What are we calling it? The, the best, worst podcast you'll ever listen to? I think to. so. And so. we're still looking for a location... In the Quad Cities to do a live podcast appearance. Yes. We'll bring all our equipment. Yep. We'll do a podcast. We'll invite our friends and family, bring them into the business, and we'll just have a huge podcast party. Yes. So if anybody wants to take that dare. Yes, exactly. I I think uh, there's going to be plenty. We'll behave ourselves. No, I think that's good. I think that's good. Because a lot of times, radio stations, they get to go in and do live remote broadcasts in places. There you go. That's what and, we're trying to do. I mean, you have done that mm-hmm. in your past, correct? So we know how to do that, yes. Yeah, you've been in... How many different states have you worked in in radio? Drunk, excited, <laughs> depressed. Oh, man. Oh, you mean California, yes, Texas? Yes, the, the 50 United New States. New Mexico. Yes. Oh, okay. Not conditions of drunkenness. No. I don't drink anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, we need to have you, if you're listening right now, you know, like this on some businesses page or put their name in the comments below. We want to do a live podcast at an establishment. Doesn't matter what type of establishment, a car dealership, exactly. a restaurant, yes. a shoe store. Right. We, Doesn't we, matter with we us. We do not care. We're, We're easy. Are, yes, that's for sure. So that's our goal to yep. get our first live podcast. Yep. That would be fantastic. So help us out. Spread the word. Yep. And so, you know, music is a huge deal. I mean, you've been for me p- playing music for people for a long time and your career wrapped around it. But you you yourself actually love music. Yeah. My father was a disc jockey. I followed in his footsteps yep. and have been in radio for 25, 30 years. Yeah. And we all both said, and a lot of disc jockeys say, if if I can do this all my life, yep. then I haven't worked a day in my yep. life. Yeah, yep. that's a good thing. That's my my grandfather always talked about uh, finding some sort of line of work that you could just do what you love and get paid for it, and then you'd never have to work a day in your life. But I do feel silly at times because I know a lot about music. Not to brag, I just it, yeah. it, it, you just happen to learn it because yeah, you're yeah, yeah. in it for twenty, thirty years. No, that's good. and at the end of that time, yeah. You say, it's what stuck. skill do I have? I have no skill. <laughs> I, I can tell you who wrote that song. I can I've, tell you the second version of that song. I, I've been hanging out with you for f- about four years now, and I can <laughs> confirm that you have no skill I'm telling whatsoever. You. I'm except, telling you. <laughs> except, I mean, I can tell you Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell did Ain't No Mountain High Enough, and then Diana Ross did oh a version goodness. of Ain't No Mountain High Enough. What does that get me wow. in life? It gets you a podcast with me. <laughs> Talking about music for in, eight minutes. In your living room. <laughs> yes, no, that's good. Okay, so it, would it be fair then for us to attempt some sort of name that tune experience Oh, I can do that you? easy. What's your favorite kind of period of well, music? Uh, it would be oldies, which is now okay. classic hits. So okay. it follows the listener's uh, age group. Okay. But 60s and 70s probably be okay. would, would I'd be okay with. Okay. All right, do you want to start out with sure. the, Let's start out with the 60s. Okay, you want to play a snippet see how fast I can name it? Yes. Okay. All right. So, here we go. Here's your first snippet, something from the 60s coming up right here. Sweet Caroline, Neil Diamond. <laughs> oh man. That's phenomenal. And it took me a little longer than I oh, wanted. Oh my gosh, it's that's magical. I can't believe you. That is. That's a You're like isn't that you're, great? you're like Rain Man. And remember when he played that in Boston after the, the, the Boston Marathon oh. bombing and the entire Boston Red Sox Can you imagine how crowd? cool that would feel to wah, have someone, wah, wah. somebody singing your song yeah. in a stadium full of people? Yes, okay, exactly. uh, let's see if you can get this one. Beatles. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know the song title. I think you'll understand. Just say, I'm getting stumped. <laughs> I want to hold your hands. Yes, there okay. you go. You got that it. Took you got me about it. You got 25 it. seconds. No, that's that's good. That was that was pretty amazing. Um, okay, uh, this is. Oh, actually, um, I'll I'll talk about this afterward. Okay, okay. here we go. 
This is a good one. Everybody. The raindrops keep falling on my head. BJ Thomas. Yes. How many notes did it take? Oh, man. About two. Yeah. Oh, I know why you played this yeah, one. Yeah, this has mm. special meaning. And that's wow. such a great... That is such a great song. Yep. Yep. That's fantastic. Um... All right. Uh, that so, was the first song I ever learned to sing as a four or five year old. Wow. That was the first song I ever learned to sing. Oh, my goodness. And um, my dad was friends with BJ Thomas, oh, and man. I told you that story yep. uh, about a year ago. Yeah. And you ended up finding an yeah, autographed old, copy yeah. of a BJ <laughs> Thomas album and giving it to me as a gift. Yeah. And I uh, love it. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, I, I want to keep playing. Yes. And I'm just uh, padding while you find another song. You scroll, scroll on your phone there. Uh, if I did what you're doing with a Depeche Mode song, would you be able to, <laughs> to, to name it in two notes? Huh? See, so here's my trouble is, is uh, yeah, I, my, my musical tastes are all over the, yes. the board. Um, but I'm horrible with the the lyrics you are? and the the, the I, I'm notorious for I don't listen to the words. Okay, and so sometimes that makes it hard to retain the title. <laughs> but it depends. So um, okay, I've got one right here. Take a listen. Birds, Mr. Tambourine Man. Yeah. Yes, jeez. And that was written by Bob Dylan. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Uh, and the birds also had what was the other hit? You don't know, no, because this is not your era. Um, uh, you need to turn that off so I can yes, think. Yes, so you can think of it. Um, yeah, they had. Uh, oh gosh, now I'm just ruining the podcast. There's a time. <laughs> there's a time and a season. Um, oh, turn, 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 turn. turn. Oh. You know that? Yeah. Which was a song that was adapted by a verse. In the Bible. Oh, Ecclesiastes. That's exactly yes, right. That's true. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's what, where cool. that song See, came from. See, this is the beautiful union now of radio guy and pastor guy. Yeah. We can connect the dots. Isn't that cool? Here. That's that's pretty Oh, and special. speaking of uh, radio guy and pastor guy, yeah. the Kingsman, Louie Louie, considered devil music. Really? <laughs> Oh my goodness! There you go. I know. That, there's so many. <laughs> wait a decade. There'll be another round of devil music. <laughs> oh gosh! All right. See if this one uh, gets you. Glenn Campbell. Everybody's talking. Yeah. And that was a song written by. No, I'm wrong. It's Nilsson. Yeah. There Harry you go. Harry Nilsson. There you go. Nilsson. Everybody's talking. Yep. Yep. That's a good one because I think wasn't this used in some movie? Yep, Midnight, Midnight Cowboy. Cowboy. Man, that's good stuff. And that reminded me of the um, the Glenn Campbell song. You got the, the gentle on my mind. Oh, that's what reminded yeah, me of. Gosh, that. man, that's that's it's like a computer up there in your in your brain. Um, Webb, Jimmy Webb wrote um, "Gentle on My Mind." He also wrote Galveston. Wrote some incredible songs for. Uh, I hear the mana and the na na. <laughs> Wichita lineman. Oh yeah, yeah. For yeah. Glenn Campbell, oh, those all so those those hits for Glenn Campbell were all man. Jimmy Webb. Go look him up. He's oh, amazing. Man, that's awesome. All right, um, I'm gonna probably have to back off the mic on this one. Maybe. What's new, Pussycat? Tom Jones, what's new, Pussycat? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, do you want to switch over to the? The 1970s? Sure. Um, is that, wh which do you think you're going to be stronger in? Probably the 60s, believe it or not. I was yeah. born in 64, so in the mid 70s, I was hitting my music. Yeah. But because as an adult, I played the oldies, I learned more about the 60s. Yep, yep, yep. All right, fire yep. me a 70s tune if you can. All right. Uh, here we go. Al Green, the good reverend, let's stay together. <laughs> that is just, that's good music right there. He got a nickname that he didn't like. What was that? It was Al Hot's Grit, Hot Grits Green. Hot Grits. And the rumor was he was not faithful. Oh. And when he was home in the bath, yep. his wife was upset and poured hot grits in the bathtub. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's no good. Okay, he, he was an honest to goodness reverend. Seriously, Absolutely. Al wow. Green was a real life reverend. 
good Goodness one too. Gracious. Uh, all right, this is a totally different type of music. See if we can get this one. Oh, that's gonna be hard for me. Is this Led Zeppelin? Yep, you got it. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All I can picture is Jack Black. <laughs> or they just use it in the Thor Ragnarok. Now, I don't too. know any Led Zeppelin titles. Yeah, no, this is, uh, I didn't either. The Immigrant Song. Okay. Yep. Makes sense. Yep, but but you did you did get it. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't, re- I know this, this group, but I don't recognize the song title. Fleetwood Mac. Oh, my gosh. Man, I don't remember. He listened to the wind blow. All right, it's called the chain. Oh, the chain. Okay. Wow, I can't. That took, that he just strummed the guitar. How did, how did you even? I love it. I love it. And even, by the way, did you hear Lindsey Buckingham? I you know depends who you speak to. Yeah. Lindsey Buckingham was recently fired. Really? Yeah, in real life. Oh my about goodness. three weeks ago, goodness and they uh, brought in a couple of different guitarists. Um, to take his uh, take his place, and wow. their 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 Fleetwood Mac is doing going. a current tour. Jeez, yeah. man, they've been at it a long time. Okay, yeah. what do you think about this one? Eagles, take it easy. <laughs> Standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona. This song was written by Jackson Brown. The original lyrics were "Standing on the corner in Flagstaff, Arizona." Oh wow, close to us. That's amazing. See, okay, I I just have to testify right now we are in the studio and i'm pulling these up on my phone bo I hasn't seen anything no clue what i'm doing i'm just sitting here with my mouth open this is <laughs> fantastic uh, all right this is a different type of music but powerful in the same period joan oh i almost heard joan jett yeah oh come on are you kidding me <laughs> he's leaving la <laughs> on that midnight train to Georgia. That's right. I played this song for my kids uh, uh, just a couple of days ago. Oh, man. And then I pulled the video up, the pips. Yeah. Yeah. Danced. Uh, choreograph, choreograph dance behind the mi- microphone stands. That is so cool. And they would slide and they would turn and raise their fist up to their ear and pull <laughs> down twice and say, Woo hoo! <laughs> Oh man, and I, that's, that song's just beautiful. I mean, that's a song about a guy going to L.A. to make it, and it didn't turn out. Man, that's so good. Gladys world Knight is still behind. world class. She's got one of the coolest voices. I I've put ever a heard. video, a '70s video of of that song up for the kids, yeah. and I brought the kids around the chair, and the and my daughter said, "She's so beautiful." Uh, <laughs> yeah, they were so talented. Uh, they are so talented. That's the best. Well, speaking of talented, and I hate giving you compliments <laughs> because it pains me, but that was impressive. Ding, ding, that ding, was ding, impressive. Ding, ding, ding. So we're just going to play you out with this amazing song from Gladys Knight and the Pips. It's the Ronnie and Bo Show. We love you. Great job, Bo. Thank you, Ronnie. Woo-hoo! <laughs>